dear Megan, today is Thursday and I have to continue packing all of my crap. I have a lot of crap. I did a whole car load over to my parents house this weekend and still have a lot to pack. So here's an instructional video on how to pack in my apartment because the roommate and I have kind of mastered this because this last weekend we had to pack all of her stuff and the kitchen stuff and I had to start packing to take stuff home. So yeah, here you go. This is what the bedroom looks like. It looks very empty without stuff on my bookshelves. This is our dining room table. This is my box of random kitchen crap. We have a laundry basket. I don't know why. And then this is what the living room looks like. This is all the roommate stuff. I have lots of shoes. We have a nice pile of empty boxes over here. TV table. I also just realized that this lamp has dead bugs in the lampshades. So that's pretty awesome. So step one in packing is to put up the clothes that have been sitting here for three days. Because all of those shirts and shorts and kitchen towels need to get put up. And to do laundry because these need to be washed. And that needs to be washed. And that needs to be washed. And I don't know if I have stuff in the machine. Look, I actually dried something. Oh, but look, I have more bedding to put up. That's awesome. Also, all of my towels need to be washed. So, step one. Put up clothes. Step two, wash the pillows that are going to make obnoxious amounts of noise in the washing machine because the dog decided to lay on them and get them dirty while simultaneously eating the food that you said you earned because you did productive things even though not really while watching Big Bang Theory on TV. Step three, aimlessly look around your room and attempt to figure out what you're not going to need in the next two weeks to pack. This is going to take a while. Begin putting random crap in a tub in the hopes that you will actually not need it in the next two weeks, knowing full well you will probably miss it because you're already missing some of the stuff that's at your parents' house. Oh, and then move laundry. Realize how dusty everything is in your bedroom and tell yourself that when you live by yourself next year, you will practice those suspect domestic skills until, you know, this doesn't happen. Because this is gross. And Texas is dusty, so dust places that you don't think are going to gather dust. Finish packing the said tub. Put it in a corner of the living room because you learned your lesson last time and are not going to put it in the middle of the walkway in your bedroom again. And call it a good night and a productive night and go turn on Supernatural. This is what happens when I don't feel like making my bed. It just kind of ends up on the pillow, on the mattress, because reasons. Yep. So that's how I pack, and I hope you feel better from your wisdom teeth. Hopefully your swelling's going down. Last time I talked to you, you said you still looked like a chipmunk. Um, just ice your jaw. That helped me a lot. Eat soup, eat smoothies, take your meds, even though you hate them. I'm sorry you had to get your wisdom teeth taken out. It's not fun, and it does hurt. And, yeah. I would do goal inventory, but honestly, I got so wrapped up in packing that I don't really remember what goals I set. So I'm just going to say that I failed at all of them. Yeah. Feel better? I'll see you on Monday.